Welcome to this episode of Sykes Now Learning Hub, Introduction to LCMS Series. In this episode, we will give you a brief overview of mass spectrometry. A mass spectrometer is a machine that can analyze molecules based on their molecular mass. No matter what kind of mass spectrometer, it consists of three main components. That is the ion source, the mass analyzer, and the detector. The signals are then transmitted as mass spectra to a workstation. Finally, the data is ready for interpretation. But why is the molecular mass a suitable property of molecules by which to distinguish them from one another? Let's have a look at these substances. Caffeine is composed of eight carbon atoms, 10 hydrogen atoms, four nitrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. This gives the molecular weight of 194.19 grams per mole. Cocaine has a different elemental composition, resulting in a different molecular mass of 303.35 grams per mole. The elemental composition thus determines the molecular mass and is therefore a characteristic parameter of a molecule. The molecular mass is sometimes also referred to as molecular weight of a compound. A mass spectrometer actually detects ions and not neutral molecules. This means that if a molecule cannot form an ion, it cannot be detected. In addition, the ions must be stable in the gas phase. Fortunately, a wide variety of different molecules can form either positively or negatively charged ions that can be detected in the gas phase. In the positive ion mode, the ions can usually be detected in their protonated form. In the negative ion mode, most molecules form ions by the loss of a proton. Which ion mode works best depends on the molecule you want to analyze. If molecular properties allow, molecules can also be observed as multiply charged ions. This is typically the case for larger molecules, for example, peptides or proteins. Thus, the molecular ions have a certain mass to charge ratio, which is an important measure in mass spectrometry, as we will see in a moment. How can we determine the M over Z ratio? First, we need to know the molecular mass of our molecule of interest. Let's keep it simple and only consider the nominal mass. That is, we don't take into account any decimal places for the atomic masses. In this example of lysine, the mass M is 146 Dalton. In the positive ion mode, we can assume that lysine adds a proton that has a charge C equal to one and a mass of about one Dalton. Now we need to add the masses of lysine and the proton. Then we need to divide by the charge. This results in an M over Z value of 147. This is the general formula to calculate M over Z ratios for positively and negatively charged ions. Always take the number of protons into account that are added to or subtracted from the molecule. Let's take a closer look at the three main functional parts of a mass spectrometer. The ion source is where the molecules are prepared for their detection as molecular ions in the gas phase. That is, the solvent is removed and ionization takes place. There are several types of ion sources and ionization methods. Electrospray ionization is the most common, but atmospheric pressure ionization is also widely used. Once the ions are in the gas phase, they enter the mass analyzer. The mass analyzer operates under vacuum so that the ions remain in the gas phase and can move freely within it. Here, the molecular ions are separated based on their molecular mass or, more precisely, their mass to charge ratio. Several types of mass analyzers are available that use different physical principles to separate ions with different M over C ratios. The detector measures how many ions with a given M over C value strike its surface at a given point in time. This video summarizes how ions travel through an MS system, using the example of a triple quadrupole mass spectrometer. In the ion source, the sample is converted into charged ions in the gas phase. From there, the ions enter the mass analyzer. In the mass analyzer, the ions with different M over C are filtered, selected, or fragmented. As we will discuss in other episodes, 
there are different types of analyzers that use electric or magnetic fields to separate and focus the ions. In a triple quadrupole, AC and DC voltages are used to separate ions. After separation, the ions hit the detector. The detector amplifies the signal and sends it to the workstation to convert the information into a mass spectrum. Thank you for watching this episode. To view the full training course, including progress checks and a final quiz to earn a certificate, go to psyx.com. Log in today to take advantage of the highly rated training material offered in the Psyx Now Learning Hub. You can use the links below.